crafty friends, my name is Jessica and welcome back to my channel. Today we have for you card blending series number nine using the Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Inks. For this trio, we are using the blues, marine, cadet, and royal, and some other fun colors to complement them. Now I can't talk about ink blending without talking about my favorite paper. This is a 130 pound Simon Says Stamp smooth white cardstock. It is linked below in the description for anybody who is interested, but this is my favorite ink blending paper. There are a lot of great papers on the market, but this is the one that I have found and gravitated to the most. The tip for the best ink blending paper is to ensure that it has a smooth surface. Nina 180 pound was a really big paper back in the beginning of when I started car making, but it does not have a smooth surface. And I know that might sound weird to some people, but it is more porous, I believe. And so it does not allow that ink to kind of sit on top to give you that little bit of extra play time when you're blending. So that's why I recommend the 130 pound cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. Not Your Mama's cardstock from Brutus Monroe is great. Bristol Smooth is a really good one, as well as I've heard that the hammer mill paper that people use for foiling is also very, very good. So now that we've got that out of the way, here I am just blending these beautiful blues. These are the truest blues right now in the positively saturated ink line. There are a lot of blue greens that would complement these colors very well. And we'll play with some of those during this video, but these are the truest blues for these inks. And I really love the spread of hues that you get between the three colors and the way that they blend together. This would be a beautiful sky scene, add some puffy clouds, maybe some white splatter, would be absolutely great for anything to add on little images to for a sky. So this is Marine Cadet and Royal. So now we're just gonna do a quick clean and then we'll move into the second panel. My favorite cleaning solution right now, of course, is Brutus Monroe's Squeaky Clean. I use it in every scent. Up next, we have Lilac, Marine, and Bubblegum. And this is a really fun pastel trio with these inks. We're gonna go in with Lilac first. I did notice, I've been trying to be really good about ensuring that my inks are re-inked before I get started, but I was just so excited to jump into filming this video that I forgot to re-ink these three colors. You can see by the ink pad, see how it's a little lighter there? That tells me that they should have been re-inked. I should have taken the time to do it. I learned my lesson again, but I'm finding that this lilac is just a little bit dry. It would have been nice to have a little extra ink on that ink pad while I'm doing this. And the same with the marine and the bubble gum. They could have used a little bit more. But we're gonna go ahead and now we're gonna cross over the marine to the lilac and it creates a third color. And I love this really fun blue violet that we get from coloring these two together. If you're not new to the Color Brilliant series, then you know that sometimes we get these unexpected middle colors. And so for this one, it's really, really fun that when we mix the lilac and the marine, we're getting that third color which just adds another dimension to these inks. So now we've taken our trio and made it a quad because it's created that other color in between. So now I'm just working in the bubble gum into the marine and that's the panel. So we have violet, marine, and bubble gum. And as usual, we're gonna do a quick clean and move on to the next one. I absolutely love this Waffle Flower Grip Mat for my ink blending. I've been using it since the beginning and I just love the way that it holds my paper. So up next, we're gonna do Royal Ocean and Lemonade. This is a really fun, bright panel, and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. My Lemonade ink pad, because it's a color that I've used recently for my ink blending series, is extremely juicy. So this color is going down real good. I went real heavy with it because of the color of ocean being so deep. I wanted to make sure that that lemonade really popped. Now ocean is another color that could have used a little bit of a re-inking and I wish I would have done that, but I still get the good, the same results. You're just, in my opinion, you're just spending a little bit more time. But look at what we're getting in between ocean and lemonade. We are getting that additional color, which I absolutely love it when these inks do that. Sometimes we get them and sometimes we don't. As you can see on the previous panel, we really didn't get that third color into bubblegum and marine. Instead, 
we got this really nice blend in between the two. So sometimes they blend seamless and other times they create this additional color and they still blend good, but you're getting that fun addition of another color. Now we're adding in that royal, and as you can see, for these two, the royal into the ocean, we're just getting a really smooth transition and we're not getting that additional color. But this is royal, ocean to lemonade. This would also be a really fun sky scene or a underwater scene with the yellow up at the top, create a little ocean line in between the two colors. Lots of ideas. So now quick clean, and then we're gonna move on to the final panel. In between shots, I'm also using a microfiber cloth to rub my brushes off onto. So up next, we have Seafoam, Cadet, and Earl. And going back to that, I like to use a microfiber cloth to clean off my brushes in between each use to ensure that you get most of the ink off. I've been using paper towels to do my inking off before I lay down to the paper, but I'm only doing that because my microfiber cloth towels are a little dingy and dirty and so it just keeps a cleaner video by using those little squares of paper towel. So we went ahead and added seafoam first and now we're gonna go ahead and blend that into Cadet. And then we're gonna be adding on a fun addition of this really great gray color called Earl. This would be a really fun snowscape scene, add some some snowy splatter onto it. Think that would be really, really beautiful. It could also be an ocean scene. You know, you turn the Earl into the bottom of the ocean, add some plants and some little rock images. Would be really, really great. And that's gonna wrap up these panels. Just so that you know, I do have the links all listed below of every ink color that I've used and all of the supplies that I include in this video. So if you wanna check those out, I'd be great. They are affiliate links and a little bit of a purchase on your end gives me a little kickback. So this is Seafoam, Cadet, and Earl. What a fun masculine color combo. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and then I'm gonna dry these panels off camera so that we can get them to the best representation of how they dry back. I do use heat for that, I don't like to. I prefer to let my ink panels dry back naturally on their own, but for the sake of the video, I went ahead and heat set them off camera. So this is Marine, Cadet, and Royal, a very, very beautiful true blue color combo. Up next, we have lilac, marine, and bubblegum. This could look really cute with a cupcake image on it, kind of that playful pastel colors. Then we have royal, ocean, and lemonade. Again, this would be a really great ocean scene or underwater scene. And then seafoam, cadet, and earl. Again, underwater, sky, winter scene. The options are endless. So that's it for today. I appreciate you guys watching my videos and commenting below. And I just want to say, take care.